Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, My Tech Expert. In this video, I am going to tell you how to do basic configuration in Checkpoint Firewall R77. This is our topology which we are going to configure today and this is my Checkpoint Firewall Gateway and its interface. I have installed Checkpoint R77 on VMware. VMware. This is our CLI mode through which we can log in on console. This is Firewall 1. This is my LAN interface which is connected to each one and this is my PMG server interface, server zone interface which is connected with each ATS2 and this is my management interface which is connected with ATS0 we can access this firewall from this management PC with the help of management IP address and this is my internet zone it's outside zone of our checkpoint firewall it's also called untrusted zone now let's overview of uh, CLI of checkpoint firewall uh, first of all we have to log in on our firewall then I will show you the interface of the checkpoint firewall so interface it is zero. It's a management interface. IP 192.168.70.12. It's our management interface. You can see in technology here. Now go to the your management PC and open browser. Just type management IP address of checkpoint firewall on browser. Now you will get Gaia portal login window. Login with user ID and password. Now it's getting open. Now you can see that we have successfully accessed our firewall on GUI mode with the help of management IP address. So this is our GUI mode of our checkpoint firewall. Now let's overview of GUI mode. Is this is our interfaces. Checkpoint firewall interfaces ATH0, ATH1, ATH2, and this for which you have created during to installation. Now we have to configure LAN interface ETH1 interface through GUI mode. Okay, just go to the interface ETH0 and select enable that and IP address type the IP address and some mask. Then click OK. Now ETH1 interface has been configured. You can see here it's up. Now we have to configure ETH2 interface. ETH2 our BMG zone interface. You can see in diagram it's our BMG zone interface. Click on enable and then provide the IP address of your ETH2 interface. Twenty dot twenty dot twenty dot twelve. Now seven and mask. And then click OK. Now it is two interface has been configured successfully. Now it's also up. Now you have to configure it is three interface. It's an outside interface of checkpoint firewall. You can see here it's the outside it is three interface. Now all interface has been configured for this technology. Now we have to configure route for this technology for outside network. For outside network we have to configure default route. Go to the static route section, then we route section, then click on default route, then click on add gateway. IP address that provide the next of IP address for default route on next of will be 4.2.2.1 and click on save default route has been 
configure for outside network you see here next will be 4.2.2.2.1 now we will have to configure a static route for our DMG zone network 122.16.1.1 uh, is our server and 20.1 is next of IP address so click on add now type here the destination IP address 172.16.1.1 and some networks will be 255.255.255 is a 32 less 32 network so now cl uh, click on add then type here the next of IP address no, next of IP address will be 20.20.20.1 20 20 20 yeah. now click on save now you see here route has been defined to for our gateway okay. now you have to download a smart console on your management pc click on download button and then click on save you have to download it on your management pc to a access management server just open it and click on setup click on setup yes now it's downloading it will take some time to download it now click on next to install yes next here you have to select a smart console component like a smart dashboard a smart view tracker a smart view monitor like that which you have required now click on finish click on finish now go to your PC and click on start button then select a smart dashboard now type the IP address of your firewall and user and password now click on login now you can see here a smart dashboard of your checkpoint firewall it's a, it's a smart dashboard now expand checkpoint option and double click on your firewall gateway now you have to select firewall option and which we have required you have to select it from here which blade you have to enable like IPS mobile VPN IPsec VPN which one now you have to select version if you want to select version which one is your open server like like that okay now go to topology option click on topology now click on get interfaces topology it will fetch all the topology interfaces of your firewall and network behind of your gateway behind of your interface which topology are there it will fetch now you can see here It's already fetch of your topology topology behind your here checkpoint firewall. Click on accept. Now click on OK. Now we have to create policy. Now to create policy, click on policy button, policy option, then click on policy add option. Click on policy add option now right click on edit and now type the name of the policy management policy should be on the top of the policy first policy should be management policy here yeah. now we have to create a still rule a still policy click, click on add button add policy button now type the name still rule it's a still through second rule should be still rule uh, it's used to prevent our firewall from unauthorized access now we have to define source and destination IP address in our management rule 
first of all we have to create objects for our management PC the, the type the name of the object management PC management now type the give the IP address of management PC its a name of management PC objects name now type the IP address of the management PC 192.1 is a management network means that management network should access our firewall now drag and drop it and select here our firewall SGSM okay. now now we have to select services which service we have to apply to access from our management PC first of all you have to HTTPS then HTTP we have to assign services define service, services here to access from management PC then HTTP now SSH now ISMP to troubleshoot it ISMP proto okay. now allow here accept it now in the street route we have to prevent our firewall from unauthorized access means that no one can access this firewall drop and log generate now we have to create objects for inside network LAN PC give the name of your object then PC 192.168.1.1 then type the IP address of the LAN PC 192.168.1.1 now click on OK indicating that there is space in object name OK then OK now we have to create another rule for our LAN PC access inside network can access internet so we have to create policy for that first of all add policy at the bottom now add it give the name here inside now in the source IP should be our LAN PC IP and destination is any any can access accept and log generate now we have to create another rule for inside network can access our DMG zone network so we have to create a rule for that In, inside network LAN PC can access our DMG zone network 172.16.1.1 so add a rule for that and last rule should be clean up rule means that any any and drop log generate a source or destination IP address which not match with ever rule that should be dropped by clean up rule so we have created this rule and log generate now go to the policy and install policy install policy here now it will take some time to install it after successfully install inside network should be access internet and DMG zone network now you can see See here in this PC is inside network inside network should be access 8.8.8 just 
now you can see that inside network LAN PC are able to access internet 8.8.8 and also it's able to access DMG zone network DMG server 172.16.1.1 it's successfully which will be successfully completed hello friends you have seen that how to do basic configuration in checkpoint firewall we will meet in next video thanks for watching this video have a nice day